examination of the ear, before we can do the examination of the ear, we must be able to know how to use the otoscope and also prepare your patient beforehand um, about the examination and what you're going to do. Because um, you must explain the procedure to the patient, what is going to happen now, um, and you must ensure that the patient gives his cooperation to, so that there can be a, a, a more comfort in doing the procedure. Remember, we must always examine, if we do the examination of the ears, we must always examine the unaffected ear first and then the affected ear um, so that there's no cross infection, but also that you can see what the normal ear looks like and then identify the abnormal in the affected ear. You must also choose the correct speculum or earpiece to do the examination with. So with the, when we do the examination, we use this, the, the otoscope. The otoscope is the instrument that we use to do the examination. But when we use the otoscope, we must also remember that um, your batteries that you use must be in a very good condition. Because if your batteries are not working properly, you won't be able to have good lighting. Okay, so you put your batteries in the otoscope and you check on the green light button there, check if the light is working. Okay, this light is working perfect. And this, this, the head of the speculum must also be put on properly. Then with the specular, with the otoscope, we also have earpieces and each earpiece has a different size. This is the largest size that we usually use to look at the ear um, more clearly. But if you want to focus or zoom in, you can use the, the smaller sizes of um, um, earpieces. This, this otoscope must be held like a pin, okay? To ensure that there's no problems, that you don't hurt the patient while you're putting the otoscope in the ear. And if you do insert the otoscope into the patient's ear, remember it must be inserted carefully and gently. Right, so, sir, I'm going to now put the otoscope in your ear just um, to ensure that I can see everything properly. But this is the way you hold the otoscope. Remember, it's all in the wrist. Right, and if you want to put it gently in, you lift the ear up and back for the adult. So you insert it gently into the ear. Remember, don't put it in the ear and you haven't put on the light. So the light is on. And you can use your hand, your guiding hand, to support also here at the back so that you don't hurt the patient in case the patient jerks around. And you insert it gently and carefully. Okay. And this concludes the use, correct use of the otoscope.